You guys, it's a special day. I'm going to say it's a special day because I said I'm going to get more into fountain pens, more expensive ones, but you see, I got to work my way up. So this was at my office depot. This right here. It's a cross fountain pen. Um, unfortunately, the box is damaged on the side. A, they didn't have any clean ones. They had three different colors. Um, a light silver one, another black with silver accents, and then this all jet black one that was matte. I liked the look of this, so I instantly picked it up. Um, at time of purchase, it was $47. So it's, it's an expensive one. This is, I feel this is going to be my very first great beginner one. Actually, I'm just playing. I didn't pay $50 for this pen. It was actually $20. No, it was $17 on sale. But this is my first real fountain pen, you guys. I'm kind of excited about it. Um, what are the reasons why I picked it up? Well, main thing it said it came with, let's focus in here, six bonus black refills. Now this is a cross one. I've never heard of this, but I'm excited to continue to get more pens, talk about how they look, how they feel, how they write, and how they color. So I have always seen these cross ones like in um, Office Depot. They have those like fountain, not fountain, like those thin pens that are like silver and gold, like well, gold plated. I don't know if that's a really big deal to um, a lot of people. I guess the kind of pens you'd see at your grandmother's church on Sundays, Easter Sundays, Christmas, and stuff like that. But th th that's a very common one. And like I said, I'm going to start to go to common and then just kind of work my way up to uncommon until I have no more money because I just have nothing but pens at my place. But it says lightweight, lightweight sleek with a fashion accents and a bold profile. Plated appointments. Um... I guess that's what that means. Pull off cap, of course you wanted to pull off. And I think this is what started to attract me about fountain pens. Let me just focus in again. The more I look at um, fountain pens online, I see ones with like these just different designs on them. And they that's what interests me. So let's stop playing around. Let's get you into focus. And let's go open this up with my trusty steak knife. Oh, <gasps> look at that. Wasn't that hard to find. Okay, I always like doing it from the bottom, just because it looks way better when I pull it out. Okay, let's look at this part first. Wow, you know what, I was expecting this to be plastic, but it's that, you know, that kind of velvetish fur stuff. You know the bottom of collection plates at churches, old churches and stuff? That's what this feels like, just like a cheaper version of it. So it looks like a goldish color. Oh, wow. You can instantly hear the, the weight to it. This is what makes me happy, feeling pens that have a nice weight to it. Because so far I've been doing a handful of ones that are just all, they're all like really thin and high schoolish, junior high-ish. Let me see if I can brighten this up. But this actually has a pretty good feel to this. Let's move on to this one. Okay. So at first glance, or at first feel, it has no grip, no rubber grip, but like it's um very grippy plastic. So like, I'm not moving. I feel that might wear down after a while. Let's actually start to zoom in on these things. Let's try them out. Let's get closer, closer to them. So let's take a look at this. So you can see, well, or you can't see, it says cross right there. And like this, this cap has a lot of weight. I'm very happy with my very first official fountain pen all this matte black or jet black, whatever black you would call it. I wanna get more that have these designs, but this design isn't the same design that you see on the back of the box. This looks like, a, it's got the lion logo, the cross logo on it. I thought it was gonna have different designs around it. Um, what type of tip is it? It says it's medium. I don't know what that means. Let's see how it works in unscrewing it. So we've just got the refills that we put in there, and then we've got a great a great pen for us to use. Excited, excited, you have no idea. All right, so we got that. Let's take a look at these six refills. Oh my, it's just a refill, refill box, so it's just six of them. Okay, oh wow, even on the box, shows you how to insert it. Just seems pretty straightforward, I guess. There's nothing special about these, just small refill cartridges. So let's set them all up. Let's get this underway. Okay, so the cross part goes up into the fountain pen part. You know, it seems simple enough, but 
I can't really, since it's so dark, I can't really see inside here. Like just inside there. Okay. Oh, I pushed it in firmly. Like this is really sleek. And I'm gonna tell you right now for a $17 fountain pen, I'm, I'm just loving how weighty it feels. It feels like there's something in my hands. Like so, for example, if I take one of these childish pens that I've been using, you can definitely see my weight difference. This is light, this is heavy. This is very heavy, 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 which is great. Oops, nope, this is just a pull off. I'm just so inclined. I'm instantly always wanting to screw, to screw them off. So I just hold this upside down and I should get some more ink. Okay, let's go get the book out. All right, you guys, let's see how this works. There we go. Hmm. Hey everyone, this is my first real fountain pen. So far, so good. Yeah, like, it does feel like a gel pen instantly to me, because that's mainly what I've always been using. So, cross CRO, cross pens, feel good on the paper. I like, I like this um, right now. So I can definitely see how my, my arms, my thumbs hurting. I'm, I'm just so used to a rubber grip, but like, I'm just so much in love with this weight. I am in love with the weight of this pen. Circle, circle, nose, smile, man, ears, ears, yeah. So if you remember one of my videos, I did a calligraphy one, and that calligraphy one was very wet, and it did like very broad strokes, like to draw an A. Yeah, this is not like that at all. This actually behaves like a pen. This is what you want to have, like, I guess. This can be, this can certainly be an everyday pen. Since it's got six refills, absolutely, absolutely, this can work out. Um, but let's do what we usually do. Push this up. Let's see how well it draws. <whistles> like, it, the ink does just flow really nicely, albeit a little bit thick. Actually, no, I take that back. It's not going really thick. I like how it like it, it's, it goes dark wet, but then it's going to dry a little bit lighter. Um, if you can see here. Come on, maybe I'll zoom the video in. After this, I'm going on an outing with a handful of people. I'm, I'm assuming it's supposed to be a date. You know what? I'm not really interested. I kind of have these pens, and I, I'm just really excited to just make videos about pens and talk about them. I think it'd be weird if I went and just talked to her about these pens, but it's not like I'm going to be bragging about this channel because I don't really know what type of person is going to be interested in this. Well, obviously, this, I'm interested in a handful of um, YouTube channels that have nothing but pens, so hopefully somebody's going to find this pretty interesting. This is definitely making my paper curl up. C R O S S. You know, okay, so like as a review for this one, this is my first fountain pen. I'm going to give it a I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. The main reason is because it's my thumb holding this hurts. So, like, it's starting to cramp up, and I, I do a lot of writing, a lot of signatures, a lot of sign-offs and stuff, but, like, 
I, I like the look of these fountain pens, but I'm, the reason it's a six is mainly because I just know there's better out there. Obviously, for more money, um, and I think the more modern money is due to its, its aesthetics, like it's going to be gold-plated or just has some features that I just don't know about. That's what I'm assuming. But as of right now, this is going to be a solid six because I know there's there, there's times to go up from here. But as a very as my first starter pen, that was I think I got this for seventeen dollars. I'm gonna have to look at the receipt. Again, not sponsored. Wish I was, but I'm not. So this is just unbiased thing. For seventeen dollars, this is a oh no, is my ink running out already? No, this is a thumbs. That's thumbs up. Those are my fingers. Thumbs up for $17. So after all this writing, like how much does, how much ink is lost? Yikes. So you see, I guess the six refills is pretty good because let's, let's go and zoom in a little bit more here. I've kind of used quite a bit already. So, and see, with the writing I do, I could be done with these refills, you know, probably in three, two weeks, maybe even less, maybe a whole week. But you know what, as for my very first um, official fountain pen, a solid six out of 10 isn't bad. This makes me happy. H-A-P-P-Y.